Thank you very much. Uh, now to politics. President Trump is doubling down on wrong information about the hurricane, despite being publicly corrected by the National Weather Service. It started when he tweeted on Sunday that Alabama would, quote, most likely be hit much harder than anticipated. The National Weather Service then tweeted, Alabama will not see any impacts from Dorian. <clears throat> we repeat, no impacts from Hurricane Dorian will be felt across Alabama. The system will remain too far east. Trump then went back to Twitter to claim that what he posted about Al oh my God, Alabama was true, adding, quote, under certain original scenarios, it was in fact correct that Alabama could have received some hurt. Always good to be prepared. To I mean, um, Jonathan, yes. words why, so, so why this proves again even... that words matter when you're president of the United States. You just can't scare an entire state. No. I, I mean, mean I, the, the, the next great threat to Alabama will be Clemson if they play him again in the playoffs. <laughs> That's, right. That's yeah. it. Hopefully for you, it'll go better this time. Uh, yeah, God, I only I finished so. uh, second in my seventh grade geography, beat, but I'm <clears> pretty <throat> sure I can put Alabama on the map. What is and, and there were never any forecasts that we could see, that, other than perhaps some wind that was going to give Alabama any sort, of, uh, any sort of real trouble from the storm. But the point is, this is a president who, once again, can never acknowledge any sort of error or mistake. It's what he says, everyone else is wrong around him. And he has missed the point, as you just well, said, that like, his words do matter. He's the president of the United States. Anything he says or tweets can move markets, can influence global capitals, can scare residents of an entire state. And in this case, even after being told he was incorrect, he wouldn't back down. He's just a, he's a low information guy, Gene. Facts mm -hmm. don't matter to him. <laughs> he, 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 we, we're talking about the Poland tweet. Congratulations to Poland. He'll try to get a spin on that, but <clears throat> it was interesting after, after he was mm -hmm. caught talking history, he quickly changed the subject to something mm -hmm. he was more comfortable with. He just doesn't, yeah. you know, he, he's it's, just, he, he doesn't know, he's not good on facts, he's not good on history, he's not good on the Constitution, no. he's a, and 40% and of Americans love him for it. Yeah, 40% 40 40 will stick with him no matter what crazy thing he says. I mean, <laughs> it's, it, it, it really is remarkable, though, because, you know, the National Weather Service had to, had to issue a, a tweet um, a correcting the president's earlier tweet about Alabama, saying, no, 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 Alabama's not in danger. And then, after being corrected, after the record had been yeah. set straight, he insists on his first erroneous version of, of the truth of where the hurricane was going to go. And I guess people get, some people get numb to it. I don't know why anybody would like that in particular, especially residents of Alabama. Who, yeah. uh, but um, but uh, why people would, would like that, I guess they, they just plain look past it. I've had Trump supporters say, well, you know, what does it matter? What does it matter that he lies all yeah, the but, time? But Stuart and Varney actually... That makes I, my I, head explode. But, yeah, um, but, but, but you, you know. saw Stuart Varney on Fox Business mm -hmm. probably yeah. saying that Donald Trump's never told a lie before in his life. But what, what, what's this? And, and we're, we're actually is... trying to get to our first story, but there's so much misinformation. Yeah. And I guess this is, uh, this sort of follows uh, a good, good friend of mine I've known for a long time was trying to tell me that 300 miles of wall have been built by Donald Trump. He's kept mm -hmm. his word. He's building the wall. He said, Fox News even says that's not true. But you yeah. just can't talk to people about facts if they're in for mm -hmm. Donald Trump. But here's, here's Stuart Varney in one of the more depressing clips of the weekend. I do believe he lies virtually every time he opens his mouth. Give me an example. I believe, Stuart, I'll give you an example just from yesterday. And even his staff, Stuart, admitted that he lied this week when he said there were high level phone calls between the United States and China. Trump said that repeatedly. His staff came out yesterday and admittedly admitted that the president of the United States lied to the world no, to not. manipulate the markets. No, I have a problem not. with that. They did, that's not a lie. Let's not get technical. That's not, not a lie. A li no, it's not a lie. If the man says, it's and he did, that high-level talks had been held with China, that is not a lie. They were held with China. 
Stewart, he said there were high-level phone calls with Chinese officials. His staff admitted that was not true, that he lied in order to manipulate the market. Okay, give me another Period. one. Give me another one. That, it, that doesn't he work. He said that his... He, <laughs> hey, Stewart, really, you don't believe that that's a lie? No, I don't. You don't. And I really object to you saying to me, and you know it is, Stuart. I do not know it Stuart, is. And please do don't you bring believe, me to your nonsense. Stuart, do you believe this president lies? No. You don't believe he's ever lied? He exaggerates and spins. Okay, do you believe he's ever told the American people a lie? No. Well, I can't set my subscription to the Washington Post because they have it at about 10,000. Well, they, they, so they, 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 they yeah, enough at the Washington Post. Um, the thing is, whoa, how, that how guy just threw himself away like we, that? We actually, I mean, we were, we're old enough to remember that guy, CNN Money, and he actually mm -hmm. was a respected money guy, uh, Donnie. Yeah. And here, this is. This is like uh, uh, this is like a comical version of 1984. If they decided to do 1984, the comedy, he would. I mean, that talk about double speak. I, you know, I'm not a psychologist. You just wonder a guy like that. Why would they do these it? supporters? Have they somehow delusionally talked themselves into it, or is it no. performance art? No, and they no. go, "This he, is this is what I do. I'm here. It's not really news. Is it just like theater?" I, I, I can't, that, that, I can't that's get my arms what, around it. Yeah, Karina, that's what I can't yeah, get my, I can't get my arms around. He knows he's lying. Mm -hmm. And not only that, he knows that we know mm -hmm. he is lying. I will go back and quote David Geffen once again. The Clintons, when they lied, they were really good liars. You would say to yourself, okay, now I know they're lying, but I'm not exactly sure how they're lying on this one. Like, they're hiding the ball. I don't know where it is. They keep moving the cups around so fast. I can't pick up the right one. It's all so confusing. But I know they're lying. You knew the Clintons were lying. Bernie Nussbaum would come and testify on the Hill, and you'd know he was lying, but you, it took like three or four years to figure out how they were lying. These people are just really, really bad liars. Well, I, I think that it's for an audience of one, right? Who watches consistently is Donald Trump. They are performing for Donald Trump. And they are all sold and bought in for Donald Trump. They are in the pocket of Donald Trump. And a lot of it is uh, because, you know, he does what he does, what they've been dreaming of, whether it is his policies that uh, really, you know, whether it's the tax cuts, whether it is the uh, deregulating, there are things that they are happy about. And so that's the thing. It, it, they know that he